Hi, I'm Andy Gupp with the Eavesry Developer Network team, and I'm here with Kyle Watson. Hi, Kyle. Hey, how's it going? Going well. Kyle is the product engineer for Business Analyst Desktop. Kyle, what do you have in store for us today? Well, I would like to show two different items that we've added to Business Analyst 9.3, one being the multiple mean source center tool and the other being threshold drive time trade areas. And then I have my trusty uh, markers here that smell great, but um, to explain a little bit about what a mean store center is, let's say that these are four store locations or, f or four customer locations and you just want to find the mean center of those. So if you can imagine here, if we've got four equal areas or four equal distant areas, the mean store center would be right in the center. Um, I guess how that differs is that we also offer volumetric information as a, as a field or a weighted field. So let's say this store spent $100 uh, or you spent $5 at this store, you spent uh, $10 at this store, and you spent uh, $30 at this store. So the geographic mean store center is no longer that relevant. You would have more of a pull towards this store. So your mean store center might be here. So to expand that at 9.3, we have offered uh, a tool that gives you multiple store centers. So if you've got 30,000 store locations around the U.S. and you, and you want to look for uh, a gap, then you can have multiple centers or multiple mean centers of the surrounding store locations. Excellent. Well, let's dive into the software and see what it looks like on the screen. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. All right, so let's step into the software now and learn a little bit more how you would actually use the tools, the multiple mean store center tool and then the threshold drive time trade area tool. What I have here in this scenario, I've got customer points on my map. This is for the greater Portland, Oregon area, and these are people or customer locations. These are people that have bought product at my store. And what I want to do is I want to go in and find out Am I underserved in certain areas? Do I need to add in another store location based on where my customers are coming from? And one way I can do that is through the Mean Store Center tool. And it just not analyze where one store is, but maybe I want to analyze where many stores should be and then maybe pick one from there. So from the Business Analyst menu, I'll go to the Analysis, the analysis dialog. I'll create a new analysis, a Mean Store Center, analysis in here through the drop down which which layer contains my customers what my customer points to and then at 9.3 we've added this defined mean store center for each spatial cluster of customer data and this means basically it's going to go in and use what it is the k-means algorithm to go in and find spatial clusters or higher concentrations of customers than basically at a point so I'll choose four clusters here I could choose just simply the geographic locations of where those uh, customers are, or I could choose a customer weight. So of these customers, I can choose sales volume for this matter. And this would be like if I have, um, I want to find out where my customers that have bought higher ticket items are and spatially weight that store, it's going to go more towards those um, you know, customers that are buying bigger ticket items. So here I'll click finish and basically the mean store centers would be popped on the map. So as my mean store centers draw here, you can see I've got four different locations around the greater Portland area. You can see that uh, it found one highly concentrated area of customers and then based on all customers within the map extent, it's, it's going to, and located three more. So I asked for four, it gave me four, where at 9.2 it would just do one. So let's do a little bit further analysis here. I want to select these two items and then I want to figure out, uh, you know, based on different criteria that I know will make my store tick, like I need to serve uh, maybe five, ten thousand 10,000 people, you know, what is that area going to look like and how do they compare versus each other? At 9.2, you can use a tool called the Threshold Rings, which is basically just, it would draw a straight line distance and once you met a certain threshold, it would basically draw a circle or draw a ring. And you can see from the store in the north to the store in the south, you have to go much farther out to reach 10,000 compared to the store. In, in. But if you wanted to take that a step further and use a little bit more real-world approach, we've added the threshold drive times, which basically does the same thing. You go out 
a certain distance to read a, uh, reach a threshold, but you're using street networks, so you can kind of compare um, where your customers are going to come from uh, to meet the demand of whatever new franchise you're going to put in. So when I turn on my threshold drive time, you can see that the look or the or the different trade area, the different areas that you're going to go in and pull customers from is very different than just a simple circle. So if I turn off my rings, turn on my drive times, you can see that that's more representative of a, of a real life trade area that where people are going to come um, from residential locations and shop at your potential store. Thank you.